What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and today is the day EA Sports has finally given us an ultimate legend that actually matters. The Randy Moss and also the Mean Joe Green are pretty good cards. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the ultimate legend tokens really quickly. I'm going to be showing you guys the upgrades that I've made and I'm also going to let you guys know why I raid sold Randy Moss. Now this is typically what happened today, right? When I first took a look at what was going on because it's all about the abilities, right? So the reason that these cards are so vastly different in price than the other ones is because of specific abilities that they were able to get. Now, one of the interesting things about this before we get to the Ultimate Legend tokens, I just want to make sure I break the cards down for you guys. He gets mossed, all right, for zero AP. Just keep in mind that it's not as good as it was in previous Maddens. I just want to let you guys know that. So that was part of the reason why I raid sold him. Okay, it's 55 yards required and sometimes it still doesn't even work. So I just want to make sure everybody knew about that. Also, he gets zero AP jukebox. So if you run RPOs and he's the guy that gets the RPO, it's a very, very high chance he's going to go for six. Okay, like immediately. All right. But again, it was some other factors that went into it that made me get rid of him, which we'll talk about later. He also gets a zero AP uh, wide receiver apprentice and then, uh, you know, route tech and uh, deep elite, which, you know, route tech is really good. But deep elite has been kind of trash because the KOs completely nullify it. All right. So that's Randy Moss. Now, mean Joe Green. OK, this dude is a monster and he's worth every single penny. He's going to be one of the upgrades that we'll be talking about, um, you know, in a little bit. So you guys know what's going on with that. He gets zero AP inside stuff and zero AP interior threat. Those are two of the major abilities that actually somewhat work in the game. So I would highly recommend that if you're upgrading D tackle to go ahead and grab me, Joe Green. Mean Joe Green is actually really, really good. Okay, because he has the weight, he has the size, he has the attributes, and all that good stuff. As far as the limited, I don't know why you would spend money on a limited uh, left tackle when you get one for free in the field pass. But he does get decent abilities, so I can see, sort of, you know, why some of you guys would do it. But just remember, you do get a free one, okay? And, um, you know, as much as you guys want, you know, even with this, right, he gets the 1 AP secure protector. Remember that the dude, Andrew Thomas, that's part of the Sugar Rush, gets that for zero. Now, this is a primary ability. So it doesn't make any sense if you're looking for that in your card to pay for that. Just get the other card that's a lot cheaper and he gets it for zero because, you know, obviously uh, secure protector is really good. All right. Now, let's jump into the fact of the, uh, the tokens, right? We already redeemed... Um, our free uh, Randy Moss a little bit earlier. So I'm going to show you guys that I sold him over here in my auctions hub. And then we completed the set to get another one because he was going for so much coin. So we made like, you know, like two mil. So they showed this one right here and then they showed this one. So we sold them for 900 and then we sold one for 842. The 842 was the one that we got for free. His price then went up after we completed the set for about 500k. Or was it 400 and then sold them again? Whatever, we made like two mil. It is what it is. But that was the first one that we redeemed. Keep in mind that you should be able to redeem two Ultimate Legends. Um, if you purchase packs from the store, it's also inside of those sets too. So you see like how it has two Ultimate Legend tokens in this one? If you get the full bundles, they give you a different variation of amount of tokens. So if you wanted to get all three, you would have to actually buy bundles. You're only gonna be able to get two of them mathematically for free without spending money with the bundles, all right? So the two that we're gonna be getting, I already got one. I have to continue to go through this. The milestones are here. It'll let you guys know when it jumps up to 10 and all this other stuff. Like today, I'm gonna have uh, either another 10 or whatever it's gonna be. But by the time it's over, I'm gonna have my second ultimate legend. Okay, so if you run through all the challenges that are available right now, you can get Randy Moss for free right now, make 900K, unless you want to keep them and see what happens. I would just make the coins, all right? And like I said, if you guys are subscribed and you have on post notifications, you're definitely going to want to see the next video when I break it down completely and let you guys see how you can make millions off of, you know, the new market right now before it crashes. So if you guys focus in on this right now and you do the math, throughout all of the milestones, you're gonna get you know enough tokens for you to be able to do it twice. If you're looking to just do it once right now, get to it immediately. I do wanna point something out to you guys though that is very, very important because it's very, very, it, it's kind of weird. Like it's very interesting that EA Sports fixed the market after they destroyed it like a, like a week ago. Um, so I don't know what they're planning next. And the reason that it's kind of interesting to me is because you can use your other, um, your tokens 
to make the playoff, uh, the actual 95s, which are going for a lot right now. If you notice right here, right, I'm already at 17. So after I do a couple more weeks, I'm gonna get another 64. If you're looking at your top left and you haven't done one of these sets yet, that means that you're gonna have three times repeatable instead of two there. Cause you should be able to do it three times. Again, the third one is primarily based on being able to buy packs and bundles, which we don't do on a weekly basis. So we're not gonna be able to get a third one for free. We will only be able to get two, all right? So I already put the 17 in this right now, but if you were looking to complete sets or whatever, I can take 16 of them and make a 95 Randy Moss right now and still make coins based on his value. Or I could make a 95 of the other Mean Joe Green. All right, so there are different ways for you to go about it. This would just be a cheaper uh, way to do it. Like if you don't have a lot of tokens and you really want the Randy Moss and stuff like that, you could do it this way. I would not use those tokens on anything less than a 98 overall for free. That's just my opinion. But if you're close to completing a set and you want to save 250, then I would say, okay, you know what? If you're going to make 700k right now, it'll probably be about the same thing later anyway. Unless they drop a card that we really, really, really want. I don't know, you know how much of this is going to go on as far as making 900k. Like there aren't a lot of cards, uh, especially right now, that's redeemable for free that you can still make that many coins on. So you're going to want to make sure that you're careful with that, all right? So whether you go the set route or you complete this one like I did and just get them and sell them, it doesn't really matter. You can get them for free today. Now... I sold him because he wasn't worth the value, especially since the, you know, the fact that I got a free one. I don't believe, even with the way that everything is going, that he's gonna be a top card because Calvin is still a glitchy card and he's nowhere near the speed of Randy Moss. But he'll go up there, he'll make those big catches, he'll do a lot, so that's why he's still there. Also, Harold Carmichael, he look, he's one speed point off of Randy Moss and he jukes like a gazelle. So for everybody that understands Madden 24, it's the year of the juke. So if you get a player like Carmichael that can juke and do all those other things, you kind of start to look at it like, do I really need Randy Moss? You see what I'm saying? Like, do I really actually need him? You probably don't. But just remember, keep in mind, right? If you do decide to keep Randy Moss, you know, you're going to be losing out on coins within the next couple days. Like once everything changes, they're going to probably announce golden tickets. It's going to be a lot of different things going on. So just be careful with that because I know a lot of you guys took the advice during the stream and just got them and sold them and made the money. It's always good to make the coins early because the chances of him continuing to rise in price when he is a set card is very low. All right. So he's at a peak right now. You're going to want to take advantage of that. All right, so I would say to grab yourself a Carmichael, uh, Megatron is very, very cheap. But again, because he's so slow, a lot of you guys are like, yo, gee, I don't really know about it, bro. Like, he's only 96 speed. I get it, bro. But this dude is really good. That's all I'm going to say. He's an all-purpose dude. He jukes well, and he's 6'5". Now, defensively, the upgrades, right? Warren Sapp is just an outright keeper. And he's going to be there until we get somebody else that gets zero AP inside stuff that we actually like. But they work well together. These guys, they do their job, okay? So regardless of what you're looking to do, I would probably urge you guys to kind of, you know, focus in on making sure that you got Mean Joe Green on your squad. Regardless if you run dollar, nickel, dime, whatever. This guy is very impactful, okay? And like I said, two upgrades that are two of the better abilities in the game for zero AP, his price is going to probably stay around 700, 800. Because, like, it, dude, if you look at the fact that he's 6'4", 275, and his acceleration is 97, dude, like, he, he's, he's going to get you in the backfield, and that's zero AP. All the other upgrades that I made was only one addition, and it actually saved me in the game. I actually gave this guy the Tier 2 um, Avalanche with the Showtime. So pretty much, for those of you guys that don't know, you can't upgrade 95s. There have to be 98 champions. I saw some people like, yo, I can't upgrade them because you have a 95. EA is not going to make it so you can give these guys 95 overall cards. You know, this, you know, Showtime, Avalanche, all that stuff like that. So you have to have a champion. I think that this is a really good setup um, with the way that he is as a user. I've literally forced four or five fumbles in four games. So the fumbling is back. It could be because I'm combining zero AP Enforcer with avalanche but they drop the ball on every downhill hit stick 
All right, so those are two major upgrades, or three, or four, if you count the two wide receivers, that I would urge you guys to take a look at. Obviously, you don't have to, you know, listen. I'm just giving you guys uh, general uh, information about the way my team is going and how we've been upgrading, and um, that's what we've been rolling with. So good luck to you. Let me know if you guys need any more assistance. If you're a normie, go ahead and leave your comments. The community will help you out. If you're a member, hit me up. I'm going to see you guys soon. Have a blessed one, boys. One love, y'all.